Welcome to Horizontal Multiplication and Division Booklet 1. Uh, we're going to start on page number 1 and actually go to the top left corner and go to the boots. And so it asks us, how many boots are there? Well, anyone can count boots and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but that's not what we're doing here. We're doing multiplication and division. Well, first I need to basically, let's break it down. This looks to be in groups. Shoes come in a left foot and a right foot. Boots are the same way. So they come in groups of two. So how many groups of two do I have? Three. Three groups of two. Now you could have also done it as two plus two plus two equals six as well. But I want to do with multiplication. So three groups of two, I would just do three times two. That equals to six. Now with multiplication, it doesn't matter which one comes first. Three times two is six, or just like addition, two times three is six. It doesn't matter which one comes first, as long as they're also multiplied, it's no big deal. So now let's go on to how many berries are there. I can count how many groups of berries do I see. Uh, it looks like six, six groups. Uh, six groups of two. Okay, so again, I could do two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two is equal to twelve, but that's not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is multiplication. So what I'm going to do is do six times two and that's going to give me a total of 12. I could also do 2 times 6, and that would give me a total of 12. So let's move on down to the bottom here. What we have here is, uh, we'll start with the first example. 0 equals 2 times 0. Um, anything times 0 is just 0, and so there's nothing else really to do. You can't multiply something by nothing. You're going to still have nothing. So that's going to be 0 groups of 2. Now, on the next one below that, it has 2 times 1 equals to 2, or 2 is equal to 2 times 1. That's just like having 1, 2, and that's why they have that little middle column right there. That's also just one group of 2. Now, it has the plus 2, so basically if I add another 2 to it, 2 plus 2 is 4. So if I did addition, I would do plus 2, and multiplication, I want to add 1 to the number. So 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 2 times 2 is going to equal to 4. So that's why you see the 2 plus 2 in the middle there. That's going to be two groups of 2. And this pattern is going to filter down all the way. If I added 2 more, 4 plus 2 is 6. So that's going to be 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So that's going to be 2 plus 2 plus 2, also known as three groups of 2. Keep going down. Something 8 is equal to 2 times something. Well, if I'm following my pattern, it's going to be 2 times 4. That's going to be 2, 2, 2, and 2. Or also, 4 groups of 2. This pattern is going to go all the way down. 10 is equal to 2 times 5, so you're going to have 5 twos and 5 groups of 2. Following this pattern, what's, 10, what's 2 more than 10? It's 12, so 12 is equal to 2 times 6. So you see 6 twos and 6 groups of 2. 14 is equal to 2 times 7, so you're going to have 7 twos in the middle there, or 7 groups of 2. I'm going to skip down a little bit more. 2 times 8 is equal to 16. 2 times something is equal to 18. That's going to be 2 times 9. So I have 8 groups of 2 and 9 groups of 2, respectively. Uh, then I have 2 times 10. Well, 2 times 10 is equal to 20. So I have 10 groups of 2. 2 times what is equal to 22? It's going to be 11, so that's 11 groups of 2. And then 2 times 12, it's going to be 24. Moving on to page number 5, I want to go ahead and count how many boots that there are. So I want to, basically, I want to add by 2. So I see, I'm going to write an addition sentence, and I see, okay, there's 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That's going to equal a total of 10. Now how many groups of 2 do I have? There are 5 groups, so basically there's 5 sets of boots. So I could either write 5 times 2 is equal to 10, or I could write 2 times 5 is equal to 10 when I'm writing multiplication sentences. It doesn't matter which one is which. They're all going to be equal to the same number, which is 10. Moving down, let's go ahead and fill in the missing numbers. So they give me the first one. 0 is equal to 2 times 0. No problems there. So then I go, okay, 2 times something is equal to something. If I follow my pattern, just like I did earlier, I want to go ahead and say 2 times 1. Well, 2 times 1, or basically one group of 2, is just going to be 2. Now 4, how many groups of 2 is equal to 4? 
two groups of two. All right. So now I have three groups of two. How many total boots do I have? Or how many, what would be my number here? Two times three is equal to six. Eight is now equal to how many groups of two? That would be four. And following this pattern down, it's just like we did earlier. So two times five is going to give me 10. Uh, two times six is going to give me 12. Two times seven is going to give me 14. I'm adding two on the left column, and I'm adding basically one to the number on the right. So two times eight is equal to 16. Uh, 18 is equal to 2 times 9. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. So then you have 2 times 11, which is 22, and 2 times 12, which is 24. So let's go ahead and finish the problem on the right. How many berries are there? So if I was counting groups of berries, I would count down. I would count, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So to write an addition sentence for this, it would be 2 plus 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 2. So that would be 10 groups of 2. So if I was going to write a couple multiplication sentences, I would have 10 times 2, which is equal to 20, or I could do the commutative property and flip it. So 2 times 10, also equal to 20. They are exactly the same. Moving on to page number nine, we're actually going to get into multiplying by three this time. So let's going to see how this works. So if I look up at the first example problem, I see elephants, and they have basically three balloons per elephant. So how many elephants do I have? I have one, two, three, four. So that's going to be four groups of three. I could also say that's three plus three plus three plus three is equal to 12. Now I need to make up two multiplication statements. So I could do three times four is equal to 12, or I could do just 4 times 3 is equal to 12. It doesn't matter which way I go because they're both going to get me to the same answer. Let's move on to the pieces of candy over there. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 groups of candy, and it looks like there's 3 pieces per group, so I'm going to go ahead and write 8 groups of 3. So that's going to be 3 plus 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 3 and that's all equal to 24. So I could write, basically, if eight groups of three, I could just do eight times three is equal to 24, or I could flip it and be three times eight is equal to 24. Again, they're just the same thing. So moving down, I can go ahead and just fill in the missing numbers. Zero is equal to three times zero, so that's just gonna be equal zero and zero groups of three. Then, if I add three to the next one, I want to have 3 is equal to 3 times 1. I've added 1, 3 to it, so that's just equal to 3, so 1 group of 3. Adding 3 again, <clears throat> 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, so it gives you 3 times 2, because there are basically two groups of 3 to make 6. Again, 3 times 3 is equal to 9, so that's going to be 3 groups of 3. 3 times 4 is equal to 12, so that's going to be 4 groups of 3. 3 times 5 is 15, <clears throat> which is 5 groups of 3. 3 times 6 is 18, 6 groups of 3. It just keeps going down over and over. 7 uh, times 3 is 21, 7 groups of 3. Um, 8 times 3 is equal to 24. You're going to have 9 times 3 is equal to 27, so that's going to be 9 groups of 3. Again, it continues on. 3 times 10 is 30, so that's 10 groups of 3. And then I can go ahead and put in 11 and 12. Uh, 3 times 11 is 33. 3 times 12 is 36, which is just 11 groups of 3 and 12 groups of 3. If you're having any trouble with any of this, uh, feel free to ask your Gideon instructor, and they will have no problem answering that for you. All right, thanks.